Ayam Shri Guru Shri Yata Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagnaragunatam Vitam Tham Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shibishikam Vitam Sya Om Ajnana Timaranda Shagana Jana Shalakya Shakshurun Militam Yena Tasma Shigurabe Nama Gurva Bistam Supurkam Gurgana Rasisha Sambushitam Chintya Chintya Samastaveda Nipanam Shirupa Patanagam Govinda Bidam Mujwalam Varatanam Bhaktian Vidam Sundaram Mande Vishwa Gurun Shah Divyat Bhagavat Prem Noe Bijapranam Devum Divyatanam Suchanda Varanam Balarka Chelanchitam Sandra Nanda Puram Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidyam Bodhim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Zubakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Varam Bandetam Shubaram Madeka Sharanam Nyashi Swarashi Dharam Mansha Kopata Rubya Chakra Pasindu Bhyavicha Patita Nam Pavanibyo Vaishnavibyo Namanama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gorata Vishenama. So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is Adi Lila, Chapter 4 The Confidential Reasons for the Appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In this chapter of the epic Chaitanya Charitamrita Krishna Das Kaviraj, Goswami has stressed that Lord Chaitanya appeared for three principal purposes of his own. The first purpose was to reestablish the first pur- the first purpose was to relish the position of Srimati Radharani, who is the prime reciprocator of transcendental love of Sri Krishna. Lord Krishna is a reservoir of transcendental loving transactions with Srimati Radharani. The subject of those loving transactions is the Lord Himself and Radharani is the object. Thus, the subject, the Lord, wanted to relish the loving mellow in the position of the object, Radharani. The second reason for his appearance was to understand the transcendental mellow of himself. Lord Krishna is all sweetness. Radharani's attraction for Krishna is sublime, and to experience that attraction and understand the transcendental sweetness of himself he accepted the mentality of Radharani. The third reason that Lord Chaitanya appeared was to enjoy the bliss tasted by Radharani. The Lord thought that undoubtedly Radharani enjoyed his company, and he enjoyed the company of Radharani. But the exchange of transcendental mellow between the spiritual couple was more pleasing to Srimati Radharani than to Sri Krishna. Radharani felt more transcendental pleasure in the company of Krishna then he could understand without taking her position. But for Sri Krishna to enjoy in the position of Srimati Radharani was impossible because that position was completely foreign to him. Krishna is the transcendental male, and Radharani is the transcendental female. Therefore, to know the transcendental pleasure of loving Krishna, Lord Krishna himself appeared as Lord Chaitanya accepting the emotions and bodily luster of Srimati Radharani. Lord Chaitanya appeared in order to fulfill these confidential desires and also to preach the special significance of chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and to answer the call of Advaita Prabhu. These were secondary reasons. Sri Swarup Damodar Goswami was the principal fi- figure among Lord Chaitanya's confidential devotees. The records of his diary have revealed these confidential purposes of the Lord. These revelations have been confirmed by the statements of Srila Rupa Goswami in his various prayers and poems. This chapter also specifically describes the difference between lust and love. The transactions of Krishna and Radha are completely different from material lust. Therefore, the author has very, very clearly distinguished between them. Now, let's start with text one. 
Shri Chaitanya Prasadena Tat Rupasya Vinirnayam Balopi Gurude Shastram Trishtva Braja Vilasinaha By the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, even a foolish child can fully describe the real nature of Lord Krishna, the enjoyer of the pastimes of Braja, according to the vision of the revealed scriptures. One can ascertain the meaning of this Sanskrit shloka only when one is endowed with the causeless mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Lord Sri Krishna, being the absolute personality of God, it cannot be exposed to the mundane instruments of vision. He reserves the right not to be ex exposed by the intellectual feats of non-devotees. Notwithstanding this truth, even a small child can easily understand Lord Sri Krishna and his transcendental pastimes in the land of Vrindavan by the grace of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaurabhakta Vrinda All glory to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu All glory to Lord Nityananda All glory to Sri Advaita Charya and all glory to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. Chatur Shloka Arta Koila Bivaran Panchama Shloka Arta Shuna Bhaktagan. I've described the meaning of the fourth verse. Now, O devotees, kindly hear the explanation of the fifth verse. These are from the 14 original Sanskrit verses in the first chapter. Mula shloka arta korite prakash arta ladai te age kohie abash. Just to explain the original verse, I shall first suggest its meaning. Chaturta shloka arta e koila sar premanama pracharite e avatar. I've given the confidential meaning of the fourth verse. This incarnation, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu descends to propagate the chanting of the holy name and spread love of God. Satya e hetu kintu eho bahiranga ara eg hetu shuna achayantaranga. Although this is true, this is but the external reason for the Lord's incarnation. Please hear one other reason, the confidential reason for the Lord's appearance. In the third chapter, fourth verse, it has been clearly said that Lord Chaitanya appeared in order to distribute love of Krishna and the chanting of his transcendental holy name, Hare Krishna. That was the secondary purpose of Lord Chaitanya's appearance. The real reason is different, as we shall see in this chapter. Purve jena bir Bara Hari Bare Krishna Vatirna Hoila Shastrete Prachare Purva Jena Priti Bibi Purva Jena Priti Bira Bara Hari Bare Krishna Vatirna Hoila Shastrete Prachare The scriptures proclaim that Lord Krishna previously descended to take away the burden of the earth. Swayam Bhagavan er karma nahi barak haran stiti karta vishnu koran jagat palan. To take away this burden, however, is not the work of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The maintenance, the maintainer, Lord Vishnu, is the one who protects the universe. Kintu Krishna jay hoi avatara kal baraharana kala. But the time to lift the burden of the world mixed with the time for Lord Krishna's incarnation. We have information from the Bhagavad Gita that the Lord appears at particular intervals to adjust a time-worn spiritual culture. Lord Sri Krishna appeared at the end of Dwapara Yuga to regenerate the spiritual culture of human society and also to manifest his transcendental pastimes. Vishnu is the authorized Lord who maintains the created cosmos, and he is also the principal deity who makes adjustments when there is improper administration in the cosmic creation. 
But Sri Krishna, being the primeval Lord, appears not in order to make such administrative adjustments, but only to exhibit his transcendental pastimes and thus attract the fallen souls back home, back to God. However, the time for administrative rectification and the time for Lord Sri Krishna's appearance coincided at the end of the last Dwarpara Yuga. Therefore, when Sri Krishna appeared, Vishnu, the Lord of Maintenance, merged with him because all the plenary portions and parts of the Absolute Personality of God had merged with him during his appearance. Purna Bhagavan Avatare Je Kale Arasab Avatar Tate Ashimile. When the complete Supreme Personality of God descends, all other incarnations of the Lord meet together within Him. Narayana Chatur Bhuham Matsyadi Avatar Juga Manvantara Avatar Jata Achayar Sabayashi Krishnange Hoy Avatirna Aiche Avatare Krishna Bhagavan Purna Lord Narayan, the four primary expansions Vasudeva Shankarshan, Pradyumna and Aniruddha Matsya and the other Leela incarnations, the Yuga avatars, the, the Manvantara incarnations, and as many other incarnations as there are, all descend in the body of Lord Krishna. In this way, the complete Supreme Godhead, Lord Krishna himself, appears. Ateva Vishnu Takan Krishnara Shariare Vishnu Dwari Kare Krishna Kare Krishna Asura Samba Samhare Ateva Vishnu Takan Krishnera Shariare Vishnu Dware Kore Krishna Asura Samhare At that time therefore Lord Vishnu is present in the body of Lord Krishna and Lord Krishna kills the demons through him. Anusanga Karma E Asura Maran Che lagi avatar kohe se mulak karan. Thus, the killing of the demons is but secondary work. I shall now speak of the main reason for the Lord's incarnation. Premarasa nirjasha korite ashwadan ragamarg bhakti loke korite pracharan rasika shekar krishna parama karuna. E dui hetu hoite ichara udgama. The Lord's desire to appear was born from two reasons. The Lord wanted to taste the sweet essence of the mellows of love of God, and He wanted to propagate devotional service in the world on the platform of spontaneous attraction. Thus, He is known as supremely jubilant and as the most merciful of all. During the period of Lord Krishna's appearance, the killing of asuras or non-believers such as Kamsa and Jarasandha was done by Vishnu who was within the person of Sri Krishna. Such apparent, such apparent killing by Lord Sri Krishna took place as a matter of course and was an incident and was an incidental activity for him. But the real purpose of Lord Krishna's appearance was to stage a dramatic performance of his transcendental pastimes at Brajabhumi, thus exhibiting the highest limit of transcendental mel in the exchanges of reciprocal love between the living entity and the Supreme Lord. These reciprocal exchanges of mellows are called ragabhakti, or devotional service to the Lord in transcendental rapture. Lord Sri Krishna wants to make known to all the conditioned souls that he is more attracted by Raga Bhakti than Vidhi Bhakti or devotional service under scheduled regulations. It is said in the Vedas, Raso Vai Saha, the absolute truth is a reservoir for all kinds of reciprocal exchanges of loving sentiments. He is also causelessly merciful and he wants to bestow upon us the privilege of Raga Bhakti. Thus, 
he appeared by his own internal energy. He was not forced to appear by any extraneous force. Aishvarya Jnana Tesam Jagat Mishrita Aishvarya Shitila Preme Nahi Mora Prita Lord Krishna thought, all the universe is filled with the conception of my majesty, but love weakened by that sense of majesty does not satisfy me. Amare Ishvara Mane Apanakehin Tara Preme Basa Ami Nahoyi Adhin If one regards me as the Supreme Lord and himself as a subordinate, I do not become subservient to his love, nor can it control me. Amake Taye J Bhaktabhaji J Babe Tare Se Se Babe Bhaji E Mora Swababe In whatever transcendental mellow my devotee worships me, I reciprocate with him. That is my natural behavior. The Lord in his inherent nature reveals himself before his devotees according to their inherent devotional service. The Vrindavan pastimes demonstrated that although generally people worship God with reverence, the Lord is more pleased when a devotee thinks of him as his pet son, personal friend, or most dear fiancé, and renders service unto him with such natural affection. The Lord becomes a subordinate object of love in such transcendental relationships. Such pure love of Godhead is unadulterated by any tinge of superfluous non-devotional desires and is unadulterated by any. Um, such pure love of Godhead is unadulterated by any tinge of superfluous non-devotional desires and is not mixed with any sort of fruit of action or empiric philosophical speculation. It is pure and natural love of God it spontaneously aroused in the absolute stage. This devotional service is executed in a favorable atmosphere, atmosphere freed from material affection. Jayatamam prapadyante tamstataiva bhajami aham Mama Vartmana Vartante Manusha Parta Sarvashaha. In whatever way my devotee surrenders unto me, I reward them accordingly. Everyone follows my path in all respects, O son of Prita. Can you hand me that phone there? Let me put his daughter as well. Dummy. Yeyatam mam prapadyante tamasta taiva bhajamiyam mama vartmanu vartante manusha parta sarvashaha. In whatever way my devotees surrender unto me, I reward them accordingly. Everyone follows my path in all respects, O son of Prita. In the fourth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna affirms that formerly, some 120 million years before the battle of Kurukshetra, he explained the mystic philosophy of the Gita to the sun god. The message was received through the chain of disciplic succession, but in course of time, the chain being broken somehow or other, Lord 
Sri Krishna appeared again and taught Arjuna the truths of the Bhagavad Gita. At that time, the Lord spoke this verse to his friend Arjuna. Mora putra mora shaka mora pranapati e bhavi je more kore shuddha bhakti apanake bora mane amare samahin se bhavi hoi ami tahara adin. If one cherishes pure loving devotion to me, thinking of me as his son, his friend, or his beloved, regarding himself as great and considering me as his equal or inferior, I become subordinate to him. If one cherishes pure loving devotion to me regarding me as his son, his friend, or we should say her beloved, regarding herself, himself or herself as great and considering me their equal or inferior, I become subordinate to him. I'm changing a little bit the wording. I'll read it the original way. It's easier that way. If one cherishes pure loving, okay. If one cherishes pure loving uh, devotion to me, thinking of me as his son, his friend, or his beloved, regarding himself as great and considering me as equal or inferior, I become subordinate to him. So, of course, when we say uh, the Lord's beloved, then that is the nature feminine nature. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, three kinds of devotional service are described, namely bhakti, ordinary devotional service, shuddha bhakti, pure devotional service, and bida bhakti, mixed devotional service. When devotional service, or vida bhakti, mixed devotional service. When devotional service is executed with some material purpose involving fruitive activities, mental speculations, or mystic yoga. It is called mixed or adulterated devotional service. Besides bhakti yoga, the, the Bhagavad Gita also describes karma yoga, jnana yoga, and jnana yoga. Yoga means linking with the Supreme Lord, which is possible only through devotion. Fruitive activities ending in devotional service philosophical speculation ending in devotional service, and the practice of mysticism ending in devotional service are known respectively as karma yoga, jnana yoga, and dhyana yoga. But such devotional service is adulterated by the three kinds of material activities. For those grossly engaged in identifying the body as the self, uh, pious activity or karma yoga is recommended. For those who identify the mind with the self, philosophical speculation or jnana yoga is recommended. But devotees standing on the spiritual platform have no need of such material conceptions of adulterated devotion. Adulterated devotional service does not directly aim for love of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore, service performed strictly in conformity with the revealed scriptures is better than such uh, bitta bhakti because it is free from all kinds of material contamination. It is executed in Krishna consciousness solely to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Those who are spontaneously devoted to the Lord and have no aims for material gain are called attracted devotees. They are spontaneously attracted to the service of the Lord and they follow in the footsteps of self-realized souls. These, their pure devotion, Shuddha Bhakti, manifested from pure love of Godhead, surpasses the regulative principles of the authoritative scriptures. Sometimes loving ecstasy transcends regulative principles. Such ecstasy, however, is completely on the spiritual platform and cannot be imitated. The regulative principles help ordinary devotees rise to the stage of perfect love of God. Pure love for Krishna is the perfection of pure devotion. And pure devotional service is identical with spontaneous devotional service. Flawless execution of regulative principles is exhibited in the Vaikuntha planets. 
By strictly executing these principles, one can be elevated to the Vaikuntha, to the Vaikuntha planets, but spontaneous pure loving service is found in Krishna Loka alone. Mai bhaktir ibhutanam amritat vayakalpate tishyayan asin matsneha bhavatinam madapananaha mai bhaktir ibhutanam amritat vayakalpate tishyayan asin matsneha bhavatinam madapanaha devotional service rendered to me by the living beings revives their eternal life. O oh, my dear damsels of Braja, your affection for me is your good fortune, for it is the only means by which you have obtained my favor. Pure devotional service is represented in the activities of the residents of Braja Bhumi Vrindavan. During a solar eclipse, the Lord came from Dwarka and met the inhabitants of Vrindavan at Samanta Panchaka. The meeting was intensely painful for the damsels of Brajabhumi because Lord Krishna had apparently left them to reside at Dwarka. But the Lord uh, obligingly acknowledged the pure devotional service of the damsels of Braja by speaking this verse. That is, Mayi Bhakti Aributanam Amritat Vaya Kalpate. Tistya yad asin mat sneho bhavatinam mad apanaha. Devotional service rendered to me by the living beings revives their eternal life. O oh, my dear damsels of Raja, your affection for me is your good fortune, for it is the only means by which you have obtained my favor. Matamura putra babe korana bandana. Atina jnana jnane kore lalana palana. Mother sometimes binds me as her son. She nourishes and protects me, thinking me utterly helpless. Sakashuda sake kore skande arohan tumikon boralok tumi amisam. My friends climb on my shoulders in pure friendship, saying, what kind of big man are you? You and I are equal. Priyajadi manakori koraye bartsan vedastiti hoite hare se moraman. If my beloved consort reproaches me in a sulky mood, but but steals my mind from the reverent, if my sulk, if my beloved consort reproaches me in a sulky mood. That steals my mind from the reverend hymns of the Vedas. According to the Upanishads, all living entities are dependent on the supreme living entity, the personality of God. As it is said, Nityo Nityanam Chaitanas Chaitananam Eko Bahunam Yo Viridati Kaman. One eternal living entity supports all the other eternal living entities because the Supreme Personality of God it maintains all the living all the other living entities. They remain subordinate to the Lord even when joined with him in the reciprocation of loving affairs. But in the course of exchanging transcendental love of the highest purity, sometimes the subordinate devotee tries to pre predominate over the pre predominator. One who lovingly engages with the Supreme Lord as if he were his mother or father sometimes supersedes the position of the Supreme Personality of God. Similarly, his fiancée or lover sometimes supersedes the position of the Lord. But such attempts are exhi exhibitions of the highest love. Only out of pure love does the subordinate lover of the Supreme Personality of God chide him. The Lord enjoying this chiding takes it very nicely. The exhibition of natural love makes such activities very enjoyable. In worship of the Supreme Lord, 
with veneration. There is no manifestation of such natural love because the devotee considers the Lord his superior. Let, regulative principles in devotional service are meant for those who have not invoked their natural love of God. When natural love arises, all regulative methods are surpassed, and pure love is exhibited between the Lord and the devotee. Although on such a platform of love, the devotee sometimes appears to predominate over the Lord or transgress regulative principles. Such dealings are far more advanced than ordinary dealings through regulative principles with on veneration. A devotee is actually freed from all designations due to complete attachment and love for the Supreme exhibits spontaneous love of Godhead, which is always superior to the devotion of regulative principles. The informal language used between lover and beloved is indicative of pure devotion. When, devote, when devotees worship their beloved as the most venerable objects, spontaneous loving sentiments are observed to be lacking. A neophyte devotee who follows the Vedic instruction, instructions that regulate uh, those who lack pure love of God it may superficially seem more exalted than a devotee in spontaneous love of God. It. But in fact, such spontaneous pure love is far superior to regulated devotional service. Such pure love of Godhead is always glorious in all respects, more so than reverential devotional service rendered by a less affectionate devotee. Eshuda Bhakta Loya Korimu Avatar Koriba Bibida Bida Adbuta Bihar Baikunta Jay Nahi Jay Jay Lila Prachar Se Se Lila Koriba Jate Mora Chamatkar Taking these pure devotees with me, I shall descend and sport in various wonderful ways unknown even in Vaikuntha. I shall broadcast such pastimes by which even I am amazed. Lord Krishna is the form of Lord Chaitanya. Uh, Lord Krishna in the form of Lord Chaitanya educates his devotees to develop progressively to the stage of pure devotional service. Thus he appears periodically as a devotee to take part in various wonderful activities depicted in his sublime philosophy and teachings. There are innumerable Vaikuntha planets in the spiritual sky, and in all of them the Lord accepts the service rendered by his uh, eternal devotees in a reverential mood. Therefore, Lord Sri Krishna presents his most confidential pastimes as he enjoys them in his transcendental realm. Such pastimes are so attractive that they attract even the Lord, and thus he relishes them in the form of Lord Chaitanya. Mo vishaye gopi ganer upapate bhabe Jogamaya Koribeka Apana Prabhave. <clears throat> the influence of Yogamaya will inspire the gopis with the sentiments that I am their paramour. Yogamaya is the name of the internal potency that makes the Lord forget himself and become an object of love for his pure devotees in different transcendental mellows. The Yogamaya potency creates a spiritual sentiment in the minds of the damsels of, of Raja, by which they think of Lord Krishna as their paramour. <clears throat> this sentiment is never to be compared to mundane, illicit love. If it has nothing to do with sexual uh, psychology, although the pure love of such devotees seems to be sexual. One should know for certain that nothing can exist in this cosmic manifestation that has no real counterpart in this spiritual field. All mystical manif manifestations are emanations of the, tra of the transcendence. The erotic principles of amorous love reflected in mixed material values are perverted reflections 
of the reality of spirit, but one cannot understand the real the reality unless one is sufficiently educated in this spiritual science. Amiya na jani taha na jane gopigan duhara rupa gune duhara nitya hareman. Neither the gopis nor I shall notice this, for our minds will always be entranced by one another's beauty and qualities. In the spiritual sky, the Vaikuntha planets are predominated by Narayan. His devotees have the same features he does, and the exchange of devotion there is on the platform of reverence. But above all, these Vaikuntha planets is Goloka, or Krishna Loka, where the original personality of God and Krishna fully manifests his pleasure potency in free loving affairs. Since the devotees in the material world know almost nothing about these affairs, the Lord desires to show these affairs to them. In Goloka Vrindavan, there is an exchange of love known as Parakya Ras. It is something like the attraction of a married woman for a man other than her husband. In the material world, this sort of relationship is most abominable because it is a perverted reflection of the Parakya Ras in the spiritual world where it is the highest kind of loving affairs, of loving affair. Such feelings between the devotee and the Lord are presented by the influence of Yoga Maya. The Bhagavad Gita states that devotees of the highest grade are under the care of Daiva Maya or Yoga Maya. Mahatmanas to Mamparta Daivim Prakritim Ashritaha. Those who are actually great souls, Mahatmas, are fully absorbed in Krishna consciousness, always engaged in the service of the Lord. They are under the care of Daivi Prakriti or Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya creates a situation in which the devotee is prepared to transgress all regulated principles simply to love Krishna. A devotee naturally does not like to transgress the laws of reverence for the Supreme Personality of God, but by the influence of Yoga Maya, he is prepared to do anything to love the Supreme Lord better. Those under the spell of the material energy cannot at all appreciate the activities of yoga maya, for a conditioned soul can hardly understand the pure reciprocation be between the Lord and his devotee. But by executing devotional service unto the regulative principles, one can become very highly elevated and then begin to appreciate the dealings of pure love under the management of yoga maya. In the spiritual loving sentiment induced by the yoga maya potency, both Lord Sri Krishna and the damsels of Braja forget themselves in, in spiritual rapture. By the influence of such forgetfulness, the attractive uh, beauty of the gopis plays a predominant part in the transcendental satisfaction of the Lord who has nothing to do with mundane sex. Because spiritual love of God it is above everything mundane, the gopis superficially seem to transgress the modes of mundane morality. This perpe 
perpetually puzzles mundane moralists. Therefore, Yogamaya acts to cover the Lord and his pastimes from the eyes of the mundaners, as confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita, where the Lord says that he reserves the right of not being exposed to everyone. The acts of Yogamaya make it, nest, make it possible for the Lord and the gopis in loving ecstasy to sometimes meet and sometimes separate. These transcendental loving affairs of the Lord are unimaginable to empiricists involved in the impersonal feature of the absolute truth. Therefore, the Lord himself appears before the mundaners to bestow upon them the highest form of spiritual realization and also personally relish its highest form. Uh, and, and the acts of yoga maya make it possible for the Lord and the gopis in loving ecstasy to sometimes meet and sometimes separate. These transcendental loving affairs of the Lord are unimaginable to empiricists involved in the impersonal feature of the absolute truth. Therefore, the Lord himself appears before the mundaners to bestow upon them the highest form of spiritual realization and also personally relish its essence. The Lord is so merciful that he himself descends to take the fallen souls back home to the kingdom of Godhead, where the erotic principles of Godhead are eternally relished in their real form, distinct from the perverted sexual love so much adored and indulged in by the fallen souls and their diseased condition. The reason the Lord displays the Rasa Lila is essentially to induce all the fallen souls to give up their diseased morality and religiosity and to attract them to the kingdom of God to enjoy the reality. A person who actually understands what the Rasa Lila is will certainly have to indulge. Uh, a person who actually understands what the Rasa Lila is will certainly hate to indulge in mundane sex life. For the realized soul, hearing the Lord's Rasa Lila through the proper channel re will result in complete abstinence from material sexual pleasure. Dharma chari rage duhe koraye milan kabu mile kabu nam mile daivera gatan. Pure attachment will unite us even at the expense of moral and religious duties, Dharma. Destiny will sometimes bring us together and sometimes separate us. The gopis came out to meet Lord to meet Krishna in the dead of night when they heard the sound of his flute. Srila Rupa Goswami has accordingly composed a nice verse that describes the beautiful boy called Govinda standing by the banks of the Yamuna with his flute to his lips in the shining moonlight. Those who want to enjoy life in the materialistic way of society, friendship, and love should not go to the Yamuna to see the form of Govinda. The sound of Lord Krishna's flute is so sweet that it has made the gopis forget all about their relationships with their, with their kinsmen and flee to Krishna in the dead of night. By leaving home in that way, the gopis transgress the Vedic regula regulations of household life. This indicates that when natural feelings of love for Krishna become fully manifest, a devotee can neglect conventional social rules and regulations. In the material world, we are situated in designative positions only, but pure devotional service begins when one is freed from all designations. When love for Krishna is awakened, the uh, designative positions are overcome. A spontaneous attraction of Sri Krishna for his dearest parts and par parcels generates an enthusiasm that obliges Sri Krishna and the gopis to meet together. To celebrate this transcendental enthusiasm, 
there is need of a sentiment of separation between the lover and beloved in the condition of material tribulation no one wants the pangs of separation but in the transcendental form the very same separation being absolute in its nature strengthens the ties of love and enhances the desire of the lover and beloved to meet the period of separation evaluated uh, transcendentally is more relishable than the actual meeting which lacks the feelings of increasing anticipation because the lover and beloved are both present A sub rasa near Josh Koriba Ashwad A Dwari Koriba sub Bhaktere Prashad. I shall taste the essence of all these rasas, and in this way I shall favor all the devotees. Brajaran Nirmal Rag Shuni Bhaktagan Raga Marge Bhajay Chena Chadi Dharma Karma. Then, by hearing about the pure love of the residents of Braja, devotees will worship me on the path of spontaneous love, abandoning all rituals of religiosity and fruitive activity. Many realized souls, such as Raghunath Das Goswami and King Kula Shekhar, have recommended with great emphasis that one can develop the spontaneous love of God and even at the risk of transgressing all the traditional codes of morality and religiosity. Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, one of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, has written in his prayers called the Mana, Mana Siksha that one should simply worship Radha and Krishna with all attention. Na dharmam, na dharmam, shrutigan, niruktam, kilakuru. One should not be much interested in performing Vedic rituals or simply following rules and regulations. King Kula Shekhar has written similarly in his book, Mukunda Mala Stotra. Nashta dharma na basu nichaye naiva kamot pa boge yad bavyam tadbavatu bhagavan purva karma nurubam etat pratyam mama bahumatam janma janmantare pi tvat param bojo ruha juga Gatan Nishchala Bhakti Rastu. I have no attraction for performing religious rituals or holding any earthly kingdom. I do not care for sense enjoyments. Let them appear and disappear in accordance with my previous deeds. My only desire is to be fixed in devotional service to the lotus feet of the Lord, even though I may continue to take birth here life after life. Anugrahaya bhaktanam manusham deham ashrita bhajate tadrishi krida yashutva tad parobhavit. Krishna sometimes manifests his eternal human like form and performs his pastimes to show mercy to his devotees. Having heard such pastimes, one should engage in service to him. This text is from Srimad Bhagavatam. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has innumerable expansions of his transcendental form who eternally exist in this spiritual world. This material world is only a perverted reflection of the spiritual world where everything is manifested without inebriety. There, everything is in its original existence, free from the domination of time. Time cannot deteriorate 
or interfere with the conditions in the spiritual world where different manifestations of the Supreme Personality of God are the, are the recipients of the worship of different living entities in their, con in their constitutional spiritual positions. In the spiritual world, all existence is unadulterated goodness. The goodness found in the material world is contaminated by the modes of passion and ignorance. A saying that the human form of life is the best position for devotional service has its special significance because only in this form can a living entity revive his eternal relationship with the Supreme Personality of God. The human form is considered the highest state in the cycle of the species of life in the material world. If one takes advantage of this highest kind of material form, one can regain his position of devotional service to the Lord. Incarnations of the Supreme Personality of God had appear in all the species of life, although this is inconceivable to the human brain. The Lord's pastimes are differentiated according to the appreciating capacity of the different types of bodies of the living entities. The Supreme Lord bestows the most merciful benediction upon human society when he appears in his human form. It is then that humanity gets the opportunity to engage in different kinds of eternal service to the Lord. Special natural appreciation of the descriptions of a particular pastime of Godhead indicates the constitutional position of a living entity. Adoration, servitorship, friendship, parental love, and conjugal love are the five primary relationships with, with Krishna. Adoration, servitorship, friendship, parental affection, and conjugal love are the five primary relationships with Krishna. The highest perfectional stage of the conjugal relationship, enriched by many, by many sentiments, give the maximum relishable mellows, mellow to the devotee. Give the maximum, maximum relishable mellow to the devotee. The Lord appears in different incarnations as a fish, tortoise, and boar, as Parsharam, Lord Rama, Buddha, and so on, to reciprocate the different appreciations of living entities in, in different stages of evolution. The conjugal relationship of amorous love called Parakya Rasa is the unparalleled perfection of love exhibited by Lord Krishna and his devotees. A class of so-called devotees known as Sahajiyas try to imitate the Lord's pastime, so though they have no understanding of the amorous love in his expansions of, of, pleasure, of the pleasure potency. Their superficial imitations can create havoc on the path for the advancement of one's spiritual relationship with the Lord. Material sexual indulgence can never be equated with uh, material sexual indulgence can never be equated with spiritual love, which is unadulterated goodness. The activities of the Sahaja simply lower one deeper into the material contamination of the senses and mind. Krishna's transcendental pastimes display eternal servitorship to Adhoksaja, the Supreme Lord, who is beyond all conception through material senses. Materialistic conditioned souls do not understand the transcendental exchanges of love, but they are like, but they like to indulge in sense gratification in the name of devotional service. The activities of the Supreme Lord can never be understood by irresponsible, persons who think the pastimes of Radha and Krishna to be 
ordinary affairs. The rasa dance is arranged by Krishna's internal potency, yoga maya, and it is beyond the grasp of the materially affected persons. Trying to throw mud into transcendence with their perversity, the sahajas misinterpret the sayings, tat parat vena nirmalam and tat parobhavet. My, by misinterpreting tadrishi krida, they want to indulge in sex while pretending to imitate Lord Krishna. But one must actually understand the imports of the words through the intelligence of the authorized Goswamis. Srila Naratam Dastakur, in his prayers to the Goswamis, has explained his inability to understand such spiritual affairs. Rupa Raghunath Pari Hoi Beyakuti Kabe Hama Bujaiba Se Jugla Priti. When I shall be eager to understand the literature given by the Goswamis, then I shall be able to understand the transcendental love affairs of Brahma and Krishna. In other words, unless one is trained under the disciplic succession of the Goswamis, one cannot understand Radha and Krishna. The conditional, the conditioned souls are naturally averse to understanding the spiritual existence of the Lord. And if they try to know the transcendental nature of the Lord's pastimes while they remain absorbed in materialism, they are sure to blunder like the Sahajias. I'm going to stop here. Tomorrow we'll continue. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Jaravaya Maravaya Keshavaya Nama Jaravaya Maravaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govindaram Shri Madhusudan Gopal Govindaram Shri Madhusudan Giridari Gopinatha Mananamon Giridari Gopinatha Mananamon Sri Chitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Sri Chitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Karadana Shiva Sadi Goramakta Vrinda Karadana Shiva Sadi Goramakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatan Bhatta Raghunan Jai Rupa Sanatan Bhatta Raghunan Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunan Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunan Echai Gosai Kori Jana Echai Gosai Kori Jana Navadan Jai Te Vignana Shabi Shapuran Jai Te Vignana Shabi Shapuran Echai Gosai Jar Mui Charadan Echai Gosai Jar Mui Charadan Tasavara Pada Renu Mora Pancha Gras Tasavara Pada Renu Mora Pancha Gras Tade Charana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhas Tade Charana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhas Janame Janame More Abhilas Janame janame more abhilas Echai gosai jabe braje koilabas Echai gosai jabe braje koilabas 
Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vindavan Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vindavan Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriya Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriya Hari Nam Sankirtana Kohe Narada Mura Hari Nam Sankirtana Kohe Narada Mura Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Nitai Gora Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Nitai Gora Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Nitai Gora Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Nitai Gora Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo. Jai Saparikara Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridhari Juki Jai. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Parabhajaka Charyashta Tara Sarasi Shimad Srila Bhakti Nirmalacharya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Parabhajaka Charyashta Tara Sarasi Shimad Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramansa Parabhajaka Charyashta Tara Sarasi Shimad Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Srila Satchita Nanda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vaishnava Sarvabhama Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupanuga Guru Bhargava Ki Jai Namachari Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunasya Jeeva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raghunasya Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Prem Sigo Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadan Harshi Vasudhi Shri Gora Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Vishvavarenya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Srila Krishna Das Kavi Raj Goswami Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Bhagwat Ki Jai Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur Ki Jai Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Harinam Sangirtan Ki Jai 
Shripad Bhakti Kushama Shramar Ki Jai. All the assembled devotees Ki Jai. Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo.